Hi guys, I'm Mr. Boatfield. This week I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about lines and we're going to do some planning and then we're going to do some creating. So the planning and creating part of art is really important. A lot of times an artist will plan out their art before they create it. But even if you're not an artist, sometimes it's better just to take a moment, think about what you've learned and plan for what you're doing next. So we've been talking a lot about lines. Let's go ahead and trace them. So what about a zigzag? So if I do something, I want you to do something. So go ahead and trace a zigzag line. What about a wavy line, like a roller coaster? Wee! You could do a straight horizontal line. In fact, you know, I'm gonna use my whole arm, horizontal. What if a line is vertical? Say vertical. What if a line is neither vertical or horizontal? We'd call that diagonal. Think about in the letter X. The letter X has two diagonal lines. You could also make up a new line. I have some crayons. I have some markers. I have some paper. You're gonna wanna use a light color paper, maybe like white paper or yellow or somewhere where you can really see those lines if you use markers or crayons. Now if, you, now, if you don't have any of these materials, that's okay. Now you have a lot of options. The goal is to practice our lines. So however you can do that. In fact, at the very end, I'm gonna show you a way that you can do it with Play-Doh if you have it. So there's plenty of ways to show what you've learned about lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some markers and some crayons to practice lines on this piece of paper. I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Now, art is all about expressing yourself. So just because I did something on a paper doesn't mean you have to do it the same way. You might have your entire own idea about what you wanna create. Maybe you wanna show your lines by drawing a cool roller coaster. Maybe you wanna show your lines by writing your name. There's so many different ways that you can show lines. I'm gonna do it one way. If you wanna copy me, that's fine. But of course, you can totally do it your own way. You are the artist. I'm gonna practice some of the lines I know. I know zigzag, which looks like this. I'm gonna use a different color just to make it interesting for the next line. What about wavy? I wonder if you guys could do a wavy. What about, ooh, a castle line? Think of Elsa or a prince or princess that lives in a castle. They have castle walls that might look like this. What other lines do I know? Ooh, maybe I just went to Six Flags and I went on a loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster. Ah! Some lines are super unique. We call this one a dashed line or a broken line. We call it a dashed line or broken line because look, it's kind of broken, it has holes in it, but you still know that line is there. Maybe you wanna show your understanding of lines by doing patterns. So let's say we use some shapes. You may not know your shapes yet. This one's called a circle. I'm also gonna do a triangle and I can keep up the pattern, which means it repeats. Circle, triangle, circle. So I finished my pattern of circles and triangles. I'm done using the markers. Always make sure you put the cap back on tight Otherwise, these are gonna dry out. Now, I'm gonna take my crayons. So I have them in a little baggie here. And I'm gonna start coloring some things in. Make it look nice and purty. Things just look better when you add the color. Give it some color, baby color. Well, what do you think? I added a little bit of color. What I came up with, I used both line, color, shape, and I also used pattern. I could have spent more time on this, but I wanted to make sure that I had something to show you in case you wanted to try what I was doing. Now, let's say you're not so much into the drawing, or maybe you wanna practice even more. 
If you would like to practice your lines, you could take some Play-Doh like this, squeeze it all up, roll it out, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. The cool thing about Play-Doh is that you can make lines. So here, let me look. Let me try this zigzag line. So I could take this piece of Play-Doh, give it some pinches, and make a zigzag line. The cool thing about Play-Doh is if you mess up, you don't like it, you can roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and make a new one. Maybe I wanna do a wavy line. Maybe there's a way, hmm, do something hard, like a loop-de-loop -loop line. There, I got one. So you can be creative with this. Who says you can't make up your own line or try something different like the dash line? It's totally up to you. I hope you guys have a great day and we're so excited to see what you're gonna make.